We are going down to Marietta for the day. It's a little bit of a rainy day, but that's okay. Here we are going to look at the Ohio River. Over here is the Lafayette Hotel. I guess it's a historic hotel here in Marietta. It's shaped like a crescent, but you can't see it from this side. So, pardon my Blair Witch Project filming for taking you on a little sightseeing tour here. A little map. Give you a view of the river. There's your flood site when it goes to that scale right there. Because I'm a few minutes uh, scale for when there was a flood here. It's a better shot of the Lafayette. It's a little fountain commemorating boats that have come through Marietta Harbor. It's a little downtown area there. And then down here, it's an area where steamboats came in on the river giant chain where women would chain up their men. No, actually it was for boats. It's pretty big. I tried to pick it up. I pick up the chain. Oh. It's a big, big chain. Here we are again, view of the bridge. You can walk across that bridge. All right, we are out driving to our first covered bridge. And I just have to say, that I am dizzy right now from these roads. These back roads are winding, oh my gosh, just like hilly and winding crazy. And like literally have a headache from Here we are at our first covered bridge. This is the Hera Bridge, circa 1871. You can see it, obviously no longer used. Jason says the bridge was still in use until 1980. Many cars, many cars have passed over this bridge. Cool bridge. There's Jason at the other end. He's coming around to take a picture of me through the window. Let's see if we see him. There he is. Say hi! Now we're here at the Bell Bridge, our second bridge today. This one we can actually drive over. So here we go. We pulled off an area where they had some giant blackberries. We're looking for some. Here we are at our third bridge. This is the Shin. Bridge, circa 1888. It's another working bridge, so we'll be driving over it. This bridge has a, looks like a different truss design. We don't know much about the trusses yet, but I think. Now we're walking up to an old house that's abandoned. I think Jason's gonna get us killed. This house looks kind of freaky. Here we are, coming up to the Henry Covered Bridge. This one is no longer in service. There's Jason taking pictures of it. Let's take a look and see what this one looks like. They didn't have a estimated date, but I guess we probably could say 18, late 1800s. We are at bridge number five, the Root Bridge. This one is not passable, although Jason said he was going to do it. Get a few of that. We are at the site of the last covered bridge on this part of the tour. We are at the Barlow Fairgrounds, and apparently this is where the Mill Branch Bridge is. 
very muddy. So a brief stop and we've discovered we have a flat tire. We are now at... Well, here we are in the tire place as we're having our tire looked at. There's Jason on the phone wheeling and dealing something with a client. But they are checking our tire and hopefully we'll be back on the road soon. So, see you soon. Tire has been fixed. We're on our second leg, the last three covered bridges down here in Washington County. Here is our seventh bridge. It's called the Hills Bridge or the Hildreth Bridge. It's actually quite long. We'll see if we can get a view from the side. Soggy, the rain started again. It's a very, very long bridge. This bridge is a little different design. It's got some metal, metal features here. metal. So you can see the roof, the metal on the roof. So very interesting. So we are under the bridge right now. We're back. And Jason's noticing all of the branches that are wedged underneath the uh, bridge. When it floods, it gets so high, the branches get caught. Oh, yeah. It's a suspension bridge. And here's Melissa walking back. She had quite a hard time with this. You can oh, my do God. It. It's like in one of those movies where the bridge is going to collapse over the water. Yeah, just come on. Get moving on. And watch the plywood because you'll step right through it. And don't step on the smaller planks as you'll go through it, too. Everyone thought Melissa was a wimp. She's far tougher than I ever gave her credit for. Problem is, this video is going to take 10 minutes. And there she is. All right. And here I go. Uh, right here, very soft. Uh, I'll be careful not step on that. You can see the wood right there. Nice and in good shape. Yeah. Uh, a nice bridge there coming apart. See how nice it is. All right. Hey, look at that. It's the way they do it here in dark. Okay. Here we are under the bridge of death that should be condemned that I just walked over. Can't really tell probably the scope of how high it is, but it's pretty freaking high because below us is the water and there's a big drop from where I'm. All right. We are at our next bridge second from last it's called the Hune H-U-N-E it is drivable so we're gonna do it here we go this one also has some metal unless that's just for restoration purposes we are at our last bridge. This is the Renard Bridge. Um, this one has an interesting story. It was destroyed and rebuilt a big, couple of times. Big bridge here. Pretty tall. You can see the truss construction. Can't drive over it anymore. But this is it. So this is our last bridge of today. The sun is now out. A glance of some of this Appalachia country in the sun. Let's see if we can get Jason to say goodbye. Come back to the car. Getting back in the escape. Say goodbye, Jason. Hasta la vista, baby. See you soon.